Nashville man is telling a harrowing tale tonight of finding an armed man in his car inside his own garage. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. That man says he fought back, disarmed the man, and then fired at him as he ran away. But as Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally tells us tonight, the prosecutor is raising new questions about what happened, and neighbors say they want to know more, too. Here in Noblesville, one of the questions the prosecutors will no doubt ask, did the burglar still pose a threat at the time the shots were fired? He said three shots went off. I went through the bed and hit there, and like I say, it ricocheted somewhere, and we can't find a bullet. The officer said if you find it, don't touch it. 1 a.m. Sunday in this neighborhood off Morris Reservoir, a man had just gotten home, but sitting in his car in his garage, a gunman. I get the adrenaline, I get the fear. Say neighbors hearing about what happened next. Police say the homeowner chased the gunman, then caught 19-year-old Peyton Tonning here, two blocks away. They struggled. The homeowner got Tonning's gun, and Tonning ran. But neighbors say it was a 45 caliber handgun, and police say the homeowner was firing. And he stood down there and shot three rounds, set the gun on the driveway, went back, called 911. Police say the suspect kept running. They later found him a couple blocks away. I think I heard him trying to get in the gate, but he must have ran down that through that alley there to get out. He says he found a container of what may have been stolen coins from the victim's house in his side yard. If you shot at somebody from here and it hit down there, that bullet went through my yard. And it scares me. And neighbors say they found something to be concerned about in this incident. It could have hit my house. It could have hit anybody in between here and there. That didn't right. He had the gun. He should have just went back and called 911, let police handle it. That's the way to do it. So, yeah, that's crazy. That could have killed somebody. So, lucky it was my truck and not a human being. We tried repeatedly, but we could not reach the burglary victim for comment. Andrea, John.